Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to be painting a glass of beautiful daisies and we're going to be using acrylics. Feel free to paint along with me or just get a cup of tea and sit and enjoy the painting come together. The colours that I'm going to be using today are titanium white, titan violet pale, cadmium yellow light, yellow ochre, pale olive, olive green and powder blue. But feel free to use whatever supplies and whatever colours you can get your hands on. The paint brushes I'm going to be using today are from the Pro Art Proline Plus range and I'm using a size 12 and a size 6. So for today's tutorial I've got my canvas, I've got my paints, I've got a couple of brushes here, a little jar of water, and a towel, an old rag, or a paper towel will be fine as well. So taking my larger brush, first we're going to put in a nice background. So I'm just going to dampen my brush with some water. And I'm going to do a nice mixture of all these different colours for the background. And really create sort of like an abstract feeling. And you can kind of have a lot of fun with this and just go with what you feel like. And that's why um, it's really great just to let go and be free. So I'm just using a mixture of blues and greens here at the bottom and if your paint feels a little bit too tacky to spread along the canvas just get ever such a slight bit of water on your brush and that will just help blend it out. I'm going to take some white here as well. So I'm pretty happy with that background. Um, I'm just going to now wait for that to completely dry, um, which shouldn't be too long depending on your climate, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so once that's dry, we're going to start blocking in the daisies and the glass. So I'm going to use my smaller brush now. We can put that larger brush to one side. block in the glass so to do that I'm just going to use some dark green and at this point it's more about mapping out where we want things so don't worry this can easily be changed at this point Okay, so I'm going to have my glass about there. And I'm also going to take some green and pop in some of those leaves. So to do that I'm just taking some paint on the end of my brush and just using an up and down motion. And don't worry about being too perfect because obviously these are plants and plant life is not perfect. And then I'm going to use the paint slightly more heavily here so that we get that more opaque effect in the darker green. Lovely. So I'm going to wash off my brush right now. And we want to make sure we get all the green out because we're going to be moving on to yellow next. Okay, so next I'm going to take my yellow ochre. And again, I'm only going to pop it on the edge of the brush because we want to be quite precise. We're going to start mapping in the daisies. So you can look at a reference photo and squint slightly to really um, help imagine where those daisies are going to go. You can copy me and follow what I'm doing or you can completely uh, create your own daisies that are going to be unique up to you, um, whatever you feel like. One tip that I do have about, well painting anything um, in nature 
nature really, but especially daisies, is it can be quite easy to go um, in a pattern where it all looks very symmetrical. But obviously, like we said, this needs to be random, so don't worry too much if there's big gaps or lots bundled up together, that's gonna help it look even more natural. And you can see that I'm adding in different size dots as well. Because some daisies we're gonna be viewing from the side, some right from the front. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna wash my brush out. So I'm now going to wait for that to completely dry so that when we add the next layers it doesn't bleed into each other. Lovely, so once that's dry, now we can start adding in the petals which is my favourite part. And we're going to add a few different colours rather than adding just white. We really want to make it look three dimensional. So we're going to add warmer and cooler tones first. So taking this very pale pink, if you don't have this colour you can just use um, a bit of red with a bit of white and this is where having a flat angled brush comes in handy because I'm going to be using the very tip of the brush and I'm going to be bringing that down to create petals like that and like we did with the centre of the flower, we don't want to be too symmetrical, we want to be a little bit random. And definitely experiment with how you use your brush as well, you can create some really cool effects. If you like chunky daisies, you can just press on a little bit heavier, or if you like very light and wispy petals, you can be very very light, or even use a smaller brush if that's what you like to do. And so I'm just going to go around each flower now adding in these petals and this is where it can really help to use a reference photo. Um, I'll do one as an example of what I mean. Um, let's use this one as an example. Rather than doing the petals the same size all the way around, a really good effect to make it look more realistic is to have longer petals like this and then go shorter along the top and that can really make it look as if you're viewing it from the side. Or oh, like these ones but going to be viewing it from completely the side so we're not going to see any above the centre of the flower, just below it. Okay, lovely, so rinse your brush out. And now we're going to do a very similar thing with the blue. So I think what I'm going to do is add a few petals with this blue, but then I'm going to add a little bit of white, I think. So we'll see how we get on. So this is going to add in some cool tones. But yeah, now I'm going to go in with the blue. And I'm not going to do, again, the whole thing like what we've just done. But this time I'm going to add in just a few petals on maybe one side or just on the edges and this is going to be like the shadow and it's also a really fun way to incorporate different colours and start getting that um, impressionistic feel you can take it really crazy and add completely different colours or you can be really subtle with it Okay, so taking some yellow, we're going to focus again on the centre of each daisy. So I'm going to do a flick in the centre of the flower. And 
that's going to be just bring that center of the flower to life a little bit more great and then rinse off your brush okay so whilst we're waiting for that to dry I'm going to take some of our lighter green and add in some um, different highlights to the greenery so taking my brush I'm just going to start adding just like we did before little strands okay and rinse off your brush okay so for a shadow of the center of the flower sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit I'm just giving each little area time to dry I'm just going to take some of the darker green and add a little bit of the yellow ochre and then I'm going to use this to create a shadow so like we did the highlight with the bright yellow I'm going to go the opposite end and do a low light First of all, I just feel like there's a bit of a hole here, so don't mind me, I'm just going to quickly add in a little daisy somewhere, maybe here. Just because I feel like there was a bit of a gap. Okay, so next we're going to go into the white. So what we've done so far is we've added the warm tones, which we did for the pink. We've added the cool tones, which we used for the blue. And now we're gonna go in for white, and that's gonna add in some really nice highlights. Okay, so taking some white on the end of my brush, I'm just gonna start to add in some little highlights. I'm not gonna add too much white just enough so that it brightens the whole painting up. And if you can see, I'm not adding whole petals even, just sometimes even just a little dot is all you need. take some of the yellow and we're going to add some white to that just to make a really light yellow like a, a lemon yellow and then I'm going to use this in the center of the flower just in a very very small amount just to add a highlight and I'm going to pop that on quite thick and that's going to give it a nice impasto look which is going to add lots of texture So you want to be making sure that you're placing this on the bright yellow part, not the darker part. Okay, lovely, and rinse off your brush. Next I'm going to take some of my darker green and add in some of the lighter yellow, just to create a really nice vivid green. And I'm going to use just little hints of that in the greenery, which is just going to add a bit of a, a luminosity to it. Yellow is a really good way of brightening up a colour, and um, if you don't want to use white or if you need to add a little bit more zing. I'm just going to pop that in in little areas in the painting. So the last thing that we need to do is add the glass. So to do this I'm going to take my blue and I can just see the outline of my glass that I added in earlier. And I'm just going to bring down a line from the outside of the glass, like that. And then using my brush really lightly so that the underneath still shines through. So I'm going to pop my brush against the canvas like that and drag down very lightly and you can see that it doesn't completely fill the area 
and then this side I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna add in a bold line. Just drag it down very slowly and carefully. And then I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Then I'm gonna take some white and add that with a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna go along the top. And just down the outside. And we can use that to add in little highlights if you want to. Also, add a little bit of a curve just going around the back. Okay, and I think that's nearly finished. The only thing I want to do is take some white, I'm going to use my bigger brush for this, and just bring in some white just coming down. I feel like it was just very bland at the top. So I'm just going to bring that down using brush strokes like this. And I think that's just going to draw your eye in even more to the daisies. And feel free to finish there. I think what else I'm going to do is just add a bit more of the darker green coming in from the sides as well. To do the same thing, really just to draw your eye in. And almost like give it a bit of a frame. Okay, there. I think I'm happy with it. <laughs> it's really difficult to know when to stop. Um, sometimes you just have to say, okay, that's it, I'm not adding anymore. And um, so I think that is finished for me. We maybe all finish at different times. Um, but I really loved painting this with you guys. Thank you so much. If you do post it on Instagram, make sure you hashtag me in at katiejobblingart. And if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and look out for future videos. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!